G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, today I've got something a little bit different. Uh, as you can see here, this is a bicycle lamp uh, unit uh, with a built-in speedometer. Now, the reason I bought this is because in the last month, uh, my brother and I, we went and purchased a mountain bike each. And uh, we also bought a couple of uh, kits, motorized kits, 80cc kits from eBay, and we actually just for a bit of a fun project, we built a couple of motorized mountain bikes. And uh, obviously when you buy a bicycle at the store, you know, you just get your normal reflectors on the front. You got that clear one on the front and a red one on the back. And uh, I definitely wanted, uh, for safety purposes, if I happen to, you know, in a situation where I have to ride my bike um, at night time, or I just feel like to go for a night, night ride sometime you know um i want to be seen on the road for for one you know as for safety and i also want to see where i'm going so um i looked around on a few products similar to this uh this one i found was the best value uh like i said i definitely wanted a speedometer and an odometer as well to see how far i've traveled what speed i'm doing in real time um and I want a fully functional light uh, unit. And this was a pretty good one. As you can see here, this is called the AS0808. It's also known on Banggood as the Bikeite three-in-one uh, lighting kit for bicycles. So yeah, I purchased this one from Banggood. You can get this from eBay, uh, AliExpress, I saw it as well, but Banggood had uh, the best price actually that I could find. I uh, purchased this a couple of weeks ago, so it came rather quickly. Um, as you can see here, I'll just pull up my other phone. Um, it's 18 bucks at the moment on a flash sale. Uh, I paid 22 shipped. Also, guys, I just want to show you this. This is the reason why I actually purchased this particular unit is because of the, the rating. It's got such a good rating here of 4.9 stars, uh, 532 reviews, and as you can see, it must be a pretty popular unit because they've sold... 4,366 orders, okay? So there's another reason why I decided to go with this one. And I also saw, I've uh, done a little bit of research on these different types of uh, lighting kits, and uh, I actually saw a review of a guy that actually uh, recommended this uh, particular unit. So that's why another reason I bought it too, okay? Now you get a pretty decent instruction leaflet here. Um, it is rather small. This side's Chinese. This is the uh, English side. It is rather small, uh, you know, by eye, you know, but uh, as I zoom in, you can see it is rather detailed. Um, it tells you everything you need to know, guys, how to wire it up to your bike, the speedo sensor. You attach it to the spoke, obviously, just there, and then you cable tie it. It's also got 3M. Uh, tape as well and uh, all the different uh, procedures uh, how to reset parameters um, and all the different modes so it's a really good detailed leaflet sheet here and then you got some specs here of your wheel sizes okay as well now my bike is a, it got 26 inch wheels okay so i'm going to have to type in one of these numbers to calibrate the actual uh, speedometer and I'll have to work out which one is exactly suited I'll have to look at the wall of the tire to see the dimensions of this you know 2.25 inch or whatever to actually type in this these series of numbers uh, to calibrate the speedo okay so you get that that's really good um, like I said the printing is rather small but what I did is take photos and just read it off my phone, <laughs> uh, you know, briefly earlier on. Um, so I'll go through that uh, a bit later on uh, when I go to put it on the bike. Okay, so here is the, um, the first thing in this bag is, this is your control uh, switch here. You've got, you've got a series of buttons here, just two buttons and um, here is for the different uh, musical tunes for your horn. Uh, and you've got your horn button there. And also that is to set your alarm system as well. As you can see, it just plugs in via a micro USB into the bottom of the unit. 
here is the actual sensor okay so this part goes onto your front fork of your bike you plug it into the unit as well on the bottom uh, on that little uh, jack port there and here is your little magnetized uh, sensor here that goes onto your spoke and we also have some zip ties or cable ties uh, to attach the associated wiring and you know make it all tidy and last but not least we have our usb to micro usb charger to recharge the unit and this is your handlebar uh, strap mount okay so you just uh it's got a little belt here and uh you put it around your handlebars okay so that's pretty simple now here's the unit itself guys it's just in standby mode here okay and this is what it looks like nice compact uh light unit here with the combination speedometer uh, you can get this in three different colors i chose red and black because my bike is red and black okay so it's just to color code it to match my bike you can get this in blue and green uh let me see is blue i think there's a green one as well there's a black one there as well so it's on the listing i think they showed a green one as well but uh yeah here it is here guys so um you got your left and right buttons your mode button and your it's like a, a power button here and we've got our little indicator here series of green leds for the amount of charge that's in the unit we have our usb port on the bottom here to recharge it and so when you need to recharge it you obviously just got to take the speedometer part out of it and uh, then recharge it here is the little jack port for the actual um the actual speedometer actually sorry uh for the actual controls you have to put it in the usb instead so yeah i got that messed up sorry about that guys but here it is here anyway guys uh there's a speaker on the back okay uh for the horn and the alarm and uh as you can see here since i moved it uh you can see the outlay of the actual lcd screen for the telemetry uh we've got our kilometer and hours you got your max and average uh, speeds distance uh calories because this is for a push bike so you'll be burning those calories and uh this one is uh rtm i'm not too sure guys uh there is a stopwatch function as well i'll put it up on the screen what rtm stands for but uh here are the lighting modes guys you just press the power button on now if you continue to press it we have the fog, fog light function, those two amber lights on the front. Okay, another couple of modes there. That's the brightest setting. And you got the flashing mode as well. Now, as you can see, in every mode, you got these side red LED lights. So you'll be seen no matter what, even from the side. Okay. So that's low beam, that's high beam, flashing. And when I press it the first time, that's like a medium beam, I think all right so uh yeah um if you press this quickly you'll see it will after five seconds it will turn off so during the day you want it in that mode if but during the night time you want to hold that mode button down for about five seconds and it will stay on okay for when you're riding at night okay okay so if i press the mode button again it will show you some more information here so you've got your average speed now up the top avs and then you've got your max okay so yeah, you got your odometer you got your uh, temperature just there in celsius because i use the metric system and we have the time which is now just past midnight okay and uh there's some more information there um if i press both these buttons down the left and the right it'll go to another sub menu and i can change that to mile per hour so you all use guys in the usa you can change that to mile per hour i'm going to keep it in kilometers an hour because i'm from australia we use metric now here is where uh, i just press the mode button again here is where i will have to type in the uh, specs of my actual uh, 26 inch wheels like i showed you on the table of contents there on the uh on the leaflet okay 
so you can adjust that how you want it okay so i'm going to have to this is for the calibration of the speedo you scroll through keep pressing that mode button you should go to the next one here now this one i'm not familiar with i'll put it up on the screen uh, i'll have to look at the user manual again that might be for your weight possibly i'm thinking maybe in kilograms okay now you press it again here is your service guide so this is saying 200 k's and it's in intervals of uh, 200 k's now this one doesn't apply to me because my bike is motorized so i check it very frequently after a couple of rides to just make sure everything's all tight all the nuts and bolts you know all the important stuff that you don't want coming loose all right so that's basically just a reminder if you've got a normal push bike uh, that will come up as a service you know alert all right guys so um that's pretty much all i could show you as far as um the main functions of this one i've already showed you the lights different light modes and so forth so what i'll do i'll put this on the bike and i'll just show you exactly how it works um do a bit of a test with the speedometer uh, take for a bit of a ride and i'll show you the lights at night all right guys so uh yeah they'll be coming up next once i fit this to the bike i'm not going to show you the install because it's basically you know you just got to put the uh front uh sensor on the wheel and that's basically it it's all pretty much plug and play guys the unit installed we're going to uh, test out the speedo here okay so go for a bit of a ride and uh see how it works Just got to roll start it, get it going. Now the bike's still a little bit cold. I've been riding it around for a little while, I'm not bad. So you can see the speed I was working. 33 k's an hour. I'm waiting on some wheels so I don't have to look behind my back.
guy down here. This is the uh, field that I learned to fly at, guys. There's a lot of our reviews here. They come down here that often anymore. This is parked up here. So I've stopped now, and you can see I've got an average speed here of 30 k's an hour. So I press the mode button, we'll see that I've got a maximum speed during that quick run at 44 and a half k's an hour so it does work pretty good um, here's the horn it's 130 decibels so it's pretty loud um, you know I've still got uh, you can actually change the uh, modes as well with this one by holding the button down and it'll change to different uh, modes so uh, before I head off home, I just want to show you how I mounted it, guys. Very simple. You just got your um, handlebar mount. Now I put a bit of leather there uh, to build it up a bit, so it could clear the um, the brakes. Okay, uh, especially the back brake there. I had to lower that lever down a bit. But uh, yeah, just the associated wiring there. You've got the USB uh, micro USB. Hopefully you can see that. I'm in the shade there, uh, and that connects to your your horn, okay, and your alarm. And down here is where the sensor is. Now here is the spoke sensor, okay, and just cable tied or zip tied to the um, fork of the bike is the actual sensor reader to relay the uh, speedo speedometer uh, speed to the unit itself so yeah guys uh here's my bike anyway 80 cc mountain bike now this only cost me uh 239 dollars for this whole setup guys including the bike itself 139 for the kit uh off ebay for the 80 cc motor kit and 100 bucks for the bike all right so it's a lot of fun guys for less than 250 bucks australian dollars all right, so anyway, all right, I'm gonna head off now, guys. I just thought I'll show you the bike in general that I'm riding and um, that I've been having fun with the last uh, couple of weeks or so. And um, yeah, the unit itself, how simple it is. It only took literally five minutes to put together. Okay, just tidy up the wiring and so forth and you're good to go. All right, well, I'm gonna get out of here for now. Uh, I'll show you the lights at night time tonight. And uh, yeah, pretty happy with this. Uh, this unit really good okay guys so it's the uh, evening now of the uh, same day as I tested this unit out and I just want to show you the LCD screen I've got it in night mode so as you can see on the way home I actually got 49.1 k's of uh, max speed and on that ride I traveled a distance of just under 5 k's at 4.7 k's now the calories that doesn't apply because it's a motorized bike if I press the mode button, we'll see that I have a, had an average speed during that ride of 25 k's an hour. And it's saying the temperature is 17.8. Um, yeah, it seems a little bit cooler than that, so that's not that accurate. It is 6.22 at night, so that's correct. Okay, now I just want to show you uh, the different light modes. So for starters, that is a high beam, okay. Let's have a quick look there it is there now I like how the side lights are always on when you've got the lights on we'll press the button again mode 2 which is just the fog lights so the center headlight is turned off as you can see there so we've got the two ambers on each side of the main headlight press it again here okay and that is your low beam okay and then high beam again and we'll press it one more time the fifth time 
Now we've got flashing mode, which is all the lights on and flashing. As you can see, all the lights are flashing, the amber, the headlight and the side lights. All right, guys, so turn it off and there you have it. And we can um, just press that and we'll go back to the main screen. So yeah, guys, I'm very happy with this unit. Very easy to install, like I showed you before uh, when I was at the field. And for the price, guys, I only paid $22 shipped from Banggood in Australian dollars. Uh, it'll be even less in US. So yeah, I can recommend this one uh, so far. Pretty happy with it, especially for the price. It's, uh, it's called the Bike Height 3-in-1 lighting system for your push bike. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this quick review. Got a helicopter flying over now. So yeah, guys, I'm pretty happy with this unit. I think it's excellent for the price. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below, guys, if you're interested in getting one of these for yourself. I bought my one from Banggood, so I'll put a, uh, a link in the description. Uh, looks like it's on flash sale at the moment, so yeah. If you've got a push bike and you need a decent uh, lighting system for cheap, uh, for the price these are going for, they're, they're pretty much a bargain. So uh, I'll leave a link below, guys, where I got it from at Banggood, and uh, maybe you want to pick one of these up for yourself. Uh, for your push bike, electric e-bike or scooter, or even a motorized bike like this. So, uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. Have you enjoyed this review of this product that I've purchased for my mountain bike? And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you on the next video. Okay, guys. I've actually just received from AliExpress today a a pair of um, indicators, a tail lamp for this bike. So for now, I've actually only got this one little lamp here. It does have flashing modes and, uh, you know, static uh, brake light mode as well. But uh, I'll be replacing this for the one that I received today. It's got built-in indicators. So stay tuned. I'll do a really quick review on that. There's nothing to that one. It's wireless, but... Uh, Oh, stay tuned, I'll do a quick review on it, and uh, yeah, till next time guys, be safe, especially on the roads, when you're riding your bike, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for some more RC content as well, very, very soon, so big thumbs up for me on this one, especially for the price, I'm really happy with it, um, it's got quite a few features at a budget price, so alright guys, catch us later, thanks very much for watching, sure to appreciate it, bye for now.